What is up, everybody? My name is Pyro Raptor, and we are back playing some more Icarus. I figured since you guys seem to enjoy the uh, the base building video, I think I want to explore today some of the prospect side of things and kind of show you what that is like. So I did leave Orbit with my character, so he is back. Um, and I'm going to, instead of loading my old open world that I was playing, I'm going to, load, I'm going to do a mission on the Olympus map. So this kind of shows you everything I've already completed. Everything with a check mark on it is stuff that I had done already and then i made my way over to the winter area did some stuff there did myself some stuff in the desert and now i'm onto the wetlands which i never finished and they added even more stuff absolutely wild um this is just this map this isn't even the olympus map so usually what happens is when you first drop into a map it'll show you how, how long you have to do things seven days seven days one day one day seven days seven days 15 days and uh this one's like a two hour mission. And as far as I'm aware, I don't think they changed it yet. So when this says seven days, that means like, say I started it right now, it's 5.45 in the afternoon. I have seven real life days to finish it, not seven in-game days. So in exactly one week, so next Wednesday, the uh, 11th, which is when I'm filming this, uh, it would the mission would expire. So basically what happens is, is you drop down to the map and you're kind of doing these missions to explain the story and kind of establish yourself there. And then as time goes on, you move to you like move to different zones. Then like an expedition will move you to a new zone. Expedition moves you to the desert zone. But I figured kind of a fun mission just to kind of show you how the game works is the, the recon mission, which is the first mission, is kind of boring. You drop on the map and you establish three recon points, and then that's literally it. Um, I figured that I would show you guys an extermination mission. The assembly don't uh, trust anyone. We'll put it on. We'll put it on but medium. They need help. And we'll claim it. But basically. Kind of what the point of this is, uh, issues on the surface. basically they, they're like, you know, listen, you know, for their forward team. there's bad animals, so they want us they to want take them to out. The thing down and eliminate it before it hurts anyone else. So unlike... Wish I could tell you more, but data's light on the ground right now. So unlike the... Yes, that's why oh, they need keeps talking. You. There. Unlike the open world, the open world is persistent and you can just kind of craft whatever you want. These ones have a set time limit. So anything I build in this area, uh, anything I craft, it'll all disappear when I'm done with this mission. So these missions are more about, it's, and that's why a lot of people wanted the open world because they wanted more persistent stuff. Um, I kind of enjoyed this because it kind of like, you go down, you build a small shelter, you know, you, you craft only what you need to complete the mission and then you get out of there. And that's how you get resources. Um, I get people's frustrations though because like if I drop down and I build a I like build a nice little house here and then I extract, but when I come back to the same exact spot on a different mission, why wouldn't my stuff still be there? And honestly, I don't really know how to explain that. Uh, that was kind of something that a lot of people were having issues with when the game came out. But I don't know. I never personally minded it. So okay. Once the assembly got Africa working together. Nothing could stop them. And mm -hmm. now, here we are. <clears throat> so we start here. Oh, this mission area. It's funny. The assembly area, cool. weren't always a big presence. So right here Icarus. is the first part of the track. To change but you that. obviously can't just. But local wildlife's been making um, problems. You obviously their can't just teams. run right to that area and track it because you're going to die of starvation. You got nothing to fight from. animals with. So that's the where it kind of pushes that map. initial little bit of crafting. You'll need to investigate it. See if you can track down whatever. So the first thing I'm gonna do cruise. is because I have a lot of ability to craft cloth armor. Have been making animals more aggressive. I don't know about that. Cloth armor makes way, you. Um, I'd say it's time to tool up. And I don't mean da -da -da. carpentry. Okay, um, so I'm crafting all this cloth stuff. Sorry, I just got a text and I was looking at it, but craft all this cloth stuff because it gives me the ability to move faster, um, increases my stamina. So like right now I'm running like this. You'll see as I put all this stuff on, it'll take a little bit of a difference. So that's usually the first thing I do in every mission. Craft the cloth armor. One, it gives you a little bit of protection, and two, uh, it, allows, it gives me a slight stamina buff. Okay, what do I have so far? So I need legs and feet. Do legs and then feet. Make a spear, make a bow. 
What am I gonna need for a torch? More fiber. I'm just making the basic stuff before I start moseying on out. Torch. Bandage. I need some stone so I can make uh, basic tools too. And I should be good to get going. What do I need for six more or three more, excuse me? So six total. One, two, that's six. Like that. Put that in that slot, put that there. Get some more stone so I can make a an axe. X knife. Now I can make myself some stone arrows as well. I need more stone for some good ones though. Okay. Thirteen should be fine for now. Kind of reorganize this into there we go. Okay. So now that I got a little baseline of gear, I'm going to start making my way towards that mission zone. So I'm going to ping right there so I can see on my compass up top. We'll work our way there. So you see the timer uh, right under my compass up top. It says mission timer. That'll continuously go down the entire time you're here. So it kind of adds a level of urgency to each mission. Um, you only have that amount of time to be here. And then if you're not out of here by then, you know, your pro your character's left behind. And like I said, but this character's level 43. He's the character I've always used play playing this game. So if he was to be left behind, I'd be back over the level 1 character who has no skills and knows how to, you know, he hasn't leveled up enough to be able to learn how to craft anything fancy. And it would not be fun. And then what we'll do is we'll... I believe there are three like things you have to track before it'll show you where the den is. Once we find out where the den is, I'll build a small shelter to get myself some better uh, weaponry. And then we will go hunt the alpha wolf. More than likely this will be a what, two or three episode thing, but we'll see. be good for now let's make our way over these bushes right here are a perfect source of food and if you get enough of them as you move around um you rarely have to actually do anything in terms of uh cooking food the bushes are pretty op the problem is is finding them all oh. a mature pack wolf that's different i've never seen that before what happens if I try to kill it? Oh, I missed. Oh my god, he's strong. Wow. Well, that explains that, jeepers. That's cool, they added a little bit of challenge to the to just the initial part of this. So I gotta search the attack zone and investigate the markings. But where are the markings? Is the question. Berry bushes. Alright, so it's gonna be. Oh, back here. Carrot. There we go. Animal scratches. Something big did that. Good find, but we need more. We and now we move on to the next zone. On your map. The missions in this game range anywhere from the hunting missions, which I get a kick out of because you kind of like get yourself geared up to the point where you're able to fight the creature um, without dying. Um, obviously this is the first one, so it's just wolves, but you get to the point where you're fighting like these like sandworms and stuff in the desert and there's some other cool stuff like that. But uh, 
There's also like harvesting missions where you spend the whole time, you know, chopping down enough wood to fill up this crate and or stone. Or there's ones where you have to like build a certain type of shelter um, to establish, you know, an area for that. Oh, it's, it's a geyser. The geysers are so cool. Um, there's expedition missions where that's how you move on to new zones of the map. Investigate tracks up here. Oh, there's another mature wolf. Really? Oh, he's running. Why does he keep healing, bro? Ow. There we go. That was weird. I've never seen things heal like that. I think that's just a bug. Oops, that broke. Okay. Alright. Looks like the work of the same animal. Something riled it up. You think? If you can confirm another site, the assembly's bots should be able to zero in on the general location of its den. Of its den. We've marked one more attack report on your map. Alrighty, I'm on my way. If I remember correctly, I don't know if they changed it, but you, have, you can't do anything with the den until nighttime. Silica. Might as well grab some of this on here. I think I need this for something else. I can't remember what right now. Basically, what I do is I build my shelter slightly outside the den zone, and then I'll probably need to build just enough to get myself to have iron tools, because this little weak ball isn't really going to be enough to, to do anything with it. Alright, that's good for now. There, I believe. Oh, not quite actually. A little bit I thought. Sometimes when I'm just walking around this game, listening to the music and stuff, it really gives me uh, heavy Skyrim vibes. And berries give you hunger and thirst, and if you get enough of them in quick, like speed running missions like this, it really uh, helps out. I love having this cloth stuff on because it makes me run so fast and jump so far. I don't really know. <laughs> it's not very realistic, but hey. I don't play this one for the realism. I play this for the, the peaceful and serenity of it. That's a deer. Doing it again. It's so weird. It's almost like they retreat. Which I saw that New World did, and that was kind of. There it is. Nasty. But that's everything we need. Assembly's bots ain't the best. But they've got to guess at where it's bedding down. Hmm. See if you can find its den and end this. Deal. All right. <clears throat> so I gotta wait till nightfall before it'll give me any idea of where the den might be. So in the meantime, oh, I 
gotta make many of those. We will start working on building a small shelter. Nothing major at all. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be here or here. So let's... What the fuck is that? It's like a cougar or something, but it's... But it sounds like it's meant to be, but it's definitely not what they sound like. <gasps> it's a bear! That makes more sense. <laughs> Myself calling it a cougar. Cougar sounds like that. Alright, we'll start building a small shelter then. Nothing too crazy, just a little itty bitty one. Probably a little 4x4, four four, realistically. Or. I literally knew that that was there, that still scared the piss out of me when that thing just went off. Okay. Gotta be careful of bear because they will absolutely wreck the shelter. Yeah, we'll do a 4x4, four four. it doesn't have to be big. And I'm gonna need 2, 4, 6, 8 walls. One and two so far, so that'll have to do. We'll do. Just to make it easier to see. Chop down some more trees. Chop, chop, chop. I love, I, I don't know why, like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that was so stupid. I can't believe I just did that. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, yes, that's something that can happen. But, um, I was literally just about to say that I find it very entertaining that I can spend so much time in a game. Like, I love base building. And nine times out of ten, when I play a, uh, when I play a game with friends, I'm always the base builder because I can just sit here and spend 10, 20 hours building this base. Um, and I don't know why, like, it's such a waste of time in, like, real life, in my, in my opinion. It's like I'm wasting so much time just sitting here chopping down trees, like, virtual trees. But it's like, you know, it makes me relax, and that's all that matters. So I just sit here and I'll sit here and do this for hours and just be so relaxed. I love it. Oh, I guess I got to build a hammer now. I didn't plan on it, but, you know. Fix everything up. Did that take any damage? No. No, no. That's good. Hold that there. Put that there. More fur. That's not that's easy to find. Just for sake of aesthetic, these are ah. For sake of aesthetic, we'll put those there. I just kind of like the way that looked, though. Truthfully, let me kind of make. Let's 
Take four more of those. There, you can't even see it if it's there, so we won't do that one. We won't do that one either. But I kind of like, like the way that looked on the outside. I'm not gonna lie. See, this is just how I am. There's no need, absolutely no need for me to be doing this, and in fact, it's actually a waste of time. But I like the way that looks a lot, so we're gonna do that. Cool. Can I do one more for? Cool. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do it just because why not? Make this one a window door, a window wall too. There. Heck yeah! All right, so now I need to build a. I need more fiber and more stone. So I'm building a sickle. So for the fiber. That helps you get a lot quicker than tapping F as you run. I'll tell you that much. That should be good there. Start chopping into this rock. Got a storm coming. Alright, craft that now. Craft the fire pit as well. And we'll do a storage chest as well. And then just because why not, we'll do another ramp to go into the base to make it look just a little bit prettier. Just a wee bit. Uh, but this way by the front door. A little fire. Mm. Oh, I can definitely move that. Da 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 da. There we go. Put my chest right here. I can still do a second one if I wanted. And then... Have I enough sticks to fill this thing yet? No. That's fine. <coughs> Alright, I need more fur. That's my top priority right now. Keep all this food related stuff. Time to cook some meat. Not gonna be here long enough to need any of that. Okay, put that in there. Got a little storm coming up before though. Do I need to build a backpack? I don't remember. Can I craft a backpack from base base gear? No, it doesn't look like it. Can I craft one of the workbench? Negative. Well, what do I still need to build? Uh, I have enough of everything except for stone, so gotta get more stone because right now the most important thing is getting iron so I can make iron tools. So I need about a hundred stone to make that forge. Once I make the forge, I'll be able to mine iron, smell iron, and then upgrade the iron tools. Most importantly, uh, that, uh, and that'll help me speed up the process of getting better, better tools. What a cute little shack. Sorry. Sorry about that. Boy, I forgot about this. Boop. 
Okay, I needed leather, wood, and I needed some stickies. Pull that out. And then I'll build a forge. Alrighty, got the forge. Place the forge right next to this bad boy. Boom. Alright, that forge is going to be perfect for um, smelting iron and stuff. Ne most important thing I got to do next is I really need to get myself some more fur. Can I make any more of these yet? I need more fiber for that. That's fine. I'll get that super quick. I don't feel like going back in the base to get it, so I'll just do this. Max 22. Good enough for me. Alright, is that gonna... Drop a marker right here for my base. Actually, we'll do it more specifically. Right here. There, good enough. Alright, let's find another animal to kill because I do need some more fur. I would have figured between all those, uh, the pack wolves I killed, you would have assumed I had enough fur, but... I guess not. That bear, honestly, would be a good thing to kill to get what I need. down here. There's a fish in there, but that's not going to do me any good with fur. Hmm. Usually there's a lot of animals down here, but I like the water. shall maneuver around the lake then, I guess. <laughs> Not a single thing? Where is everything? <laughs> I find that like when you don't need to kill anything for food or for you know different materials, like you'll see like 13 deer just standing out front of your house. Whoa, that was a weird lag spike. You'll see so many animals just like hanging out in front of your house, and then as soon as you need something, they are nowhere to be found. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness, die, homie. How is it not dead? How many arrows can this thing take? I know they're just stone arrows, but my goodness. Almost hit him. Wow. Thank you. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I was like, where'd it go? Alright, 
that shit. Oh, really? I didn't get any fur out of that? Bro, that's not even nice. It's a wolf. I'll push over to that wolf, I guess. If I get any wolf fur off that wolf instead. Where'd he go? <laughs> Hunting simulator. Oh, there we go. Five. That should be enough now, I'm pretty sure, actually. I think I was only needing four. Kill this wolf, too, just to be safe. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get back to base, craft a bedroll, set a respawn point, and I think that's going to end this video. I don't want it to be too long a video. Honestly, I, I, I know I already said this before, and I did a, a little test live stream to see if um, if everything was working on my end, and it worked. I might honestly live stream like these long missions, and same thing like Daisy and other survival games. Because I do feel like these little missions are kind of short, but at the same time, it's kind of, in my opinion, kind of cool to see it play out over um, some different missions. Alright, bed roll. I'm gonna place it right here for a respawn point. That's a little bit close to the fire. I'll have to move that fire later on. Boom. And we're gonna set spawn point and we're gonna pick this up. Take what's in it. I'm gonna move that fire over just a smidgen so I don't burn myself in the middle of the night. Alrighty. I do think that's where I'm gonna end this video today. Uh, as always, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to do a couple more parts of this. Honestly, all I got to do is wait for nightfall. So I'll probably spend one more day getting some iron and crafting iron tools. And then <coughs> the following nightfall in this game is when I will go take out that pack. So if you guys are curious to see how that falls. Oh, there it is. Hey, so I told you to be down here. It's nightfall. They are out and they are hungry. But we're going to sleep instead. Oh, I got to turn this campfire on. We're going to sleep instead for this one. Alrighty, we'll sleep instead for this one, and then we will wake up in the morning, uh, finish out getting some iron tools and crafting and stuff, and then the following night we will take out the alpha and kill that entire pack of wolves and kind of go from there. So make sure you guys tune back in. If you guys want to see the next episode, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get updated when it drops. As always, thank you guys so much, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.